So these are just some common mistakes that Mr. Brown and I see or, or have seen when we're looking through your technical drawing portfolios. And they're common mistakes that we've seen in past years when students are learning to do orthographic drawings. The first mistake that we see is we tend to see drawings that are kind of floating on your graph paper. So one thing or one time when we really commonly see that floating is when students just trace their object instead of actually measuring it. So if you were to just trace your object instead of measuring it, yeah, you would get a full scale drawing, but you can see how my drawing doesn't line up with any of the lines on the graph paper. When Mr. Brown and I see this kind of floating drawing, It tells us that you might not have actually measured and that you just traced. It also is really hard to then uh, accurately depict what your object is going to look like because it's all askew, it's not lined up with anything, and because you've traced it, like we talk about, when you trace something, your outline of your object tends to actually be a little bit bigger because your pencil or pen, it rubs up against the outside of your object, so it's not actually the correct measurements. So we need to make sure that you are not tracing. From here on out, if we see any floating drawings like this, you're not gonna get full credit for it. Now for several of your, um, for several of your views and several of your drawings, you will have some lines that won't be on graph paper lines, but you should always start in a corner so that at least two of your lines do line up perfectly with the graph paper. So we wanna make sure we're seeing that. So that's common mistake number one, is some floating happening. Another common mistake that we see is when you go from your front view to any of your other views. So I'm really quickly just gonna use the measurements from our Lego Tower 1 to draw out our front view. And remember, we covered all of these measurements and how to draw our front view. We covered this in our front view video that we watched earlier in class. So we talked about how with our orthographic drawings, we want to use lightly drawn guidelines to help us make sure that our views are lined up correctly. So when it is lined up, like we saw in our example, the bottom of our front view is on the same graph paper line as the bottom of our side view the top of our front view is on the same graph paper line as the top of our side view. And the major changes line up as well. So that's what we want to see. This is good. If your drawings aren't lined up, what we'll typically see instead, you might have the correct measurements but they're not on the correct lines of the graph paper. So this rectangle that I'm drawing right here is a correctly drawn side view for this Lego tower, but it's not correctly lined up. So you can see that the bottom of my front view 
does not really line up with anything on my side view. And if I were to draw my guidelines, they'd have to be on some wonky angle, so they don't actually help me out. So you can see that it's definitely not lined up. So even though the measurements for this are correct, you would actually lose a couple of points because you'll see in the rubric that we want for your views to be lined up with each other. So in order for me to get full credit for this, I would have to erase it and redraw it so that it started off, the bottom line was on the same graph paper line as the bottom of my front view, and the top line was on the same graph paper line as the top of my front view. So definitely watch out for those common mistakes. Make sure that you are actually measuring and using your ruler to draw your drawings so that they're not floating. And make sure that you are lining up your views correctly so they are on the same graph paper lines. Again, you can definitely leave several spaces in between. They do not and should not be touching each other, but you do want them on the same graph paper line as the other views. As always, before you turn this in, make sure that you email or Schoology message me or Mr. Brown if you have any questions. Come to our office hours and ask questions, or even come to our office hours, show us your drawing and say, hey, is this correct? If you are unsure, make sure you do that before you turn this in. As we keep going on, we're going to keep adding on to our orthographic drawings. But for right now, these are some of our orthographic drawing basics. Let us know what questions you have.